About two years ago, I had a dream, one of many, of the U.S. being invaded by an outside nation, two outside nations. Just to briefly get into the dream, I might not get deep into detail, but I was sitting outside at the beginning of the dream talking to a friend of mine. It was casual conversation, a beautiful sunny day, a regular day. Okay, these huge black helicopters began landing in various places in the U.S. I had this knowing in my spirit. I never saw these helicopters um, within the U.S., but I looked it up on Google, and they're like war crafts that belong to the other countries. Um, and so I ran in the house because I had some family members visiting at the time, and I let them know it's time they're here. And it's like everybody was fearful within the house, except for me. Like, I had a, a calmness and a peace because I knew that this stuff was going to be coming. <clears throat> but one interesting thing about the dream is I had the knowing that they were about to get ready to go door to door and pull people out of their homes. And they knew everything about everyone who was living in the house. They knew everything about the house, the blueprint to the house, how many people were living in the house. And I knew that they knew these things because they were watching us through this particular app that I'm using right now. One of my family members asked panically, why didn't anyone tell us about this? And I remember saying I did. And I remember hearing in my spirit within the dream, it will happen suddenly. I've had multiple dreams. This dream has been reoccurring. It'll, it'll be the same type of situation, but it'll play out differently. Us being conquered by an outside nation who we know not the language of. And I'm saying all this, y'all, because it really just hurts me how we could plainfully see the truth and what's going on right now. There's so many warning signs. If you're paying attention to what's going on in this nation, we can see, okay, it's the warning signs are there. But the main point that I want to focus on is Matthew chapter 24. I believe that Matthew... First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kwadash, and the Mount Sales Greek Millstone, Wall Unto Truth, and also to the Ophelak that scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom. And come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. And the type of day lesson is, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So I like to say, Shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Before we start the deed lesson, let's get a couple of quick precepts. Let's go here. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17 says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman up unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words of my mouth and give them warning for me. So the Lord always sent forth his prophet, you know what I'm saying, which in fact is his mouthpiece, constantly warning you of war, pestilence, an evil time that we have never seen before. A lot of things are happening. Also, when you go to Joel uh, chapter 2, 28 through 31, it will tell you all these things that's getting ready to happen. So the Lord's constantly pouring out his uh, spirit on all flesh, like, you know, you know, say your sons and daughter will prophesy. So a lot of things are happening, you know, and a lot of people still, what, not believing the signs of the time. So let's read it in NLT. Let's say Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse uh, 17 says, Son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for Israel. It said, whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately you know so so one thing but that's what we're doing you know you know when we we see the prophecies are constantly lining up just like clock where we see that these things are being constantly being fulfilled you know we have to what the beginning of sorrow we knowing about the birth pain every day you know constantly hearing about these villainsuela uh gangs you know you're talking about all sorts of rumors here rumors there mischief over here so you know we're constantly warning you left and right. That's why the Lord said he had set up watchmen. Who are the watchmen? The men, the men of the Lord that's in the highways and byways. You know, constantly making these video pistols each and every day, warning you of all these appended dangers. Also, the lady said in the video, and also we're going to go back to that video, something, some more meat I want to get out of that video. This her testimony of, of a dream that she had of America being attacked by what? Russia and China. You know, also in collaboration with the what? With with uh, uh, NATO. You know, so a lot of these things are coming to pass. We 
already know that these sleeper cells are here. We go over these things over and over. The Lord said, warn them immediately. You know, so right, you know, you know, that's that's why we got to stay on our watch. We're constantly, you know, watching all the signs of the time. We're measuring the time uh, diligently through what, through the what, through the scripture. That is the measuring stick. We're watching the prophecy play out real time. So the end is being manifest right before our, our salvation is at the door. So now let's let's, let's let's drop down to verse 27, uh, Ezekiel chapter three and verse 27. Let's go here. It says, uh, <clears throat> one moment. It says here, it says, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them. Thus said the Lord power. He that hears, let him hear. And he that forbears, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. A rebellious house to this day. You know, they are, you know, a lot of people are see and they, uh, they see, but they see not. They hear and they hear not, you know, constantly being rebased to this day. Noah's time, you know, Lot's time, also Moses' time, also in these time. There are no new things under the sun. We go over these things over and over because the Lord is getting ready to bring it forth. You know, we're seeing that it's happening right before our eyes, you know. So the prophets are out here, you know, wide open, constantly warning you. But a lot of people, what, don't believe. Let's get this right quick. Let's go here to... Um, uh, Romans chapter three. Let's go to Romans chapter three. You know, you know, you, you can tell people all day long, but you know, they constantly saying, "I don't believe this. I don't believe that." So this, this is where we at. Uh, Romans chapter three, and verse three said, "said For what if son did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Almighty without effect?" Let's read in NLT. Said, "said True." Said some of them were unfaithful, but just because they were unfaithful, does that mean? Uh, God will be unfaithful? No. So the truth is going to constantly uh, be declared. This truth is going to go out whether you believe it or not. Verse 4 said, said, said God forbid, said, yea, let, let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written, uh, that thou mayest, that thou mightest be justified in thy sin and mightest overcome when thou art judged so that's where we at right now you know so a lot of our people are still unfaithful the lord already said in second every chapter 15 you know, he told us that you know all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness so that's what that's where we at right now do you choose life or you choose what uh uh or uh, uh, death you know it's plain and simple let's read in let's read uh verse uh four in the nlt it said oh of course not so even if everyone else is a liar God is true, as the scriptures say about him. Say, so you will be proved right in what you say, and you will win your case in court. That's right. And one thing about it is that, you know, uh, in that day, you know, when these things come to pass, these prophecies, the signs of the time, you know, in that day they shall know that a prophet was among them. The middle Lord constantly warning you, left and right, whether you will hear or whether you will forbear, and also, you know, it will be what? You know, none effect. Because the truth is going to be clear that the truth is going to accomplish where the Lord sent it. So now let's go here to Matthew chapter 24. So she said this is what she's seen in her dream. She's saying that this is a blueprint of what uh, that she was seeing in that dream. And she said she feel like we are living uh, Matthew uh, 24 and 6 right now. These rumors of war, earthquakes in diverse places. We're seeing all sorts of uproars of the people. A lot of things are constantly happening left and right. And also these prophecies are, are popping off the pages, man. We are very excited. Well, let's go here. I'm, I'm seeing uh, Matthew chapter 24. So like uh, Matthew chapter 24. Let's start up at verse 6. Let's get a little bit of this here. It says here, it says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're seeing these rumors all over the place, left and right. Rumors of wars over here, rumors of wars over there. Mischief over there, calamities, outbreak, pestilence, all sorts of what? A dark forecast, you know, Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the birth pain. We're, we're seeing them. Verse 6 in the NLT, Matthew chapter 24, uh, verse 6 in the NLT, it says, And you will hear of wars and threats of wars. Said, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. So that these things have got to play out. You know, you know that said measure. You know, so all these prophecies going to play out. You know, this is the most high movie. So everything is 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 constantly uh, right on schedule through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. By Shimei Yahweh. Verse uh, seven. It said, "For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be a famines." 
and pestilence, plagues, outbreaks, disease. We're seeing that right now. Earthquakes, earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes just about pretty much everywhere you look. So we're seeing this, you know, left and right. These, you know, the heathens are raging. Also, we knowing that we read upon the beginning of sorrow. We read upon what? Uh, the beginning of World War Three, and also the least of the flock, which in fact is Israel, shall draw them out. So we at that, we at that, uh, that dark time. The Lord's getting ready to bring forth that judgment. Verse eight it said, "So all these are the beginning of sorrow." You know what I'm saying? It said in NLT it said, "But all this is only the first of the birth pains, which, uh, with more to come." So more is getting ready to happen. So it's gonna get worse and worse right before what the great and glorious return. Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh it is fast approaching. So the Lord said, "I will pour out my spirit on all flesh." So now let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the uh, videos. Something else I want to get out of here. One moment. See, move it up a little bit. Let's move it back a little bit. About right there. Media, we're laughing. We take everything as a joke. We think that all this other stuff can happen in everywhere else. But as Americans, we're prideful, we're arrogant, we lack humility, and we do not believe these things can come to our doorstep. And the Lord has been warning year after year after year after year, and we're ignoring it, and we're not taking heed. Just like in the dream, that family member who said, "Why didn't anyone tell us about this?" I, I personally talked to that family member in real life and told them that war was coming, and they accused me of lying. And I also had the knowing in the dream that it had so much time had passed on that people had forgotten about the warnings. And so moving on to, you know, there shall be famines. A famine is coming. This has been warned about for years, but we're closer now than ever before. Pestilence is more. So now you see that, you know, in the video, she's spot on, you know. So the Lord is constantly pouring out his spirit left and right. People are having dreams left and right about the destruction of America, about an ill time that they have never seen before. Death, destruction, sorrow, anguish. And also the Lord is getting ready to bring forth judgment like you have never seen before. So now let's go here to Numbers, Numbers chapter, Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13, one moment. I think it's he. Numbers chapter 13 is something I want to get out of here. Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. Oh, Lord, let me get it back. Numbers chapter 13 and verse 6. Numbers chapter 13 and verse... Let's see. Is this is what I want? Uh, This ain't what I want. No, 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 no. Let's go here. Let's go here to... um. Let's go here to uh, one moment. Let's go here to Proverbs. That's what I want right here. I'm, I'm going too far over. Proverbs chapter 29. Proverbs chapter 29. And verse. Proverbs chapter 29. And verse 18. Salakia. <clears throat> mm -mm. Let me go back. Salakia. One moment. Let's go back out. I gotta go back in. Foam is kind of acting up. Bear with me. Acting up a little bit. Let's go back in. Salakia, the devil always get busy when you start bringing these scriptures out. Uh, Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. He said, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. I should read in the NLT. He says, verse 18 again, it said, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. In the NLT, he said, when people do not uh, accept divine, divine guidance, they run wild, but whosoever obeys the law, it's joyful. So one thing about it is that, you know, so the prudent foresees the evils. You know, one thing about where there is no vision, where there is no profit, where there is no uh, uh, direction, divine uh, 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 intervention. What I mean by that is that, you know, if the Lord is, is, is not showing you anything, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 you are just going on with your daily life, you know, happy go lucky, then you know, hey, you know, you perish. You know, so you're you're you constantly in the what? The congregation of the dead. So let's read that once again. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. It said, Where there is no vision, no no prophet, no prophet, no signs of the time. It said, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So one thing about it is that the one that is constantly conducting himself and constantly heeding uh, to the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the true believer, you know, happy uh, shall he be, shall be joyful. You know, because we know that, you know, we know that we got to go through this last and final tribulation period before we can get to the what? The other side, which in fact is the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So now let's go here. Let's go back to the, vid the video. Sorry about all the jumping around. Let's go back to the video. Something else I want to get out of here. 
to people who know me in real life, I don't just get on the internet talking about this stuff. If you know me in real life, I'm talking about this stuff. And it's like, no one cares. It's like people can care less. Just like in the dream. When that family member asks, why didn't anyone tell us about this? And it's like, also, I thank you, Lord. I remember I had the knowing in the dream that people wrote off the warnings that I gave who knew me personally, because I can't speak about people who don't know me personally, but people who knew me personally wrote off my warnings as fantasies. Just like that family member accused me of lying. And it could not be more plainful that we are on the brink of civil war. And then later on... This is spot on. So let's go here to uh, second, second Corinthians chapter 36. This lady, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people are not going to believe because the Lord is not dealing with two thirds of our people. They will be what? Totally destroyed. Let's go here to a uh, uh, second Chronicle. Let's get this one right here. Second Chronicle. Sorry about the jumping around, but for edification purpose, uh, you know, bear with me. Uh, second Chronicles, second Chronicle, you know, and I'm thinking that is, you know, that's pretty good edification. This lady testimony of her dream. Uh, let's go here to second Chronicle chapter 36 and we'll start up around verse 15 second chronicle chapter 36 and verse 15 <clears throat> and it reads said and the lord power of their father sent to them by his messenger said rising up be time and sending uh sending because he had compassion on on his people and on his dwelling place. Let's read in the NLT. It says here, it said, The Lord said, The Lord power of the Most High, uh, Yahweh, Baal, Abishai, of their ancestors, uh, uh, repeatedly sent his prophets to warn them, for he had compassion, compassion on his people and his temple. So that's right now, you know, the prophets are old, what they did. They, they constantly warn you left and right repeatedly. You know, it's even Noah, he preached to what, 120 years, and they still did not heed the call until the what? Until the rain came. They were all totally destroyed. That's what's getting ready to happen now, but not by water, but what? By fire. So that's what's getting ready to happen. The Lord's getting ready to bring forth this thermonuclear uh, fire. And also, this what? This uh, laser and chariot fire. The Lord's getting ready to bring forth this judgment. So right now, the Lord's son is messenger, which in fact are the prophet. You know, he's only dealing with the men, but he's pouring out all his spirit on all flesh. So you do, you can help people from all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a prophesy. You know, you don't have to be uh, what they call so-called black or white. You know, you can look like the other nation. But if your spirit bear witness, you know what I'm saying? And also the Lord even can make a heathen prophecy out also so the lord pretty much can do anything so let's go here uh second chronicle chapter 36 and verse six uh 16 second chronicle chapter 36 uh second chronicle chapter 36 and verse 16 so like said but they mocked the messenger of the almighty yahweh by shima washai and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the lord arose against his people till there was no remedy so that's where we at right now you know these people are not going to believe a damn thing until the lord uh bring it so the lord's getting ready to show them you know they don't fear the lord they don't love the lord you know they love the ways of this world the lord already said the wisdom of this world is foolishness to him if you're not seeking the lord you are seeking death let's read in the nlt uh verse 16 it said but the people mocked the messenger or the prophets of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and despise their words. They scoffed at the prophets until the Lord anger could no longer be restrained and nothing could be done. So one thing about it is that when the Lord bring it, there would be no more talking. So now let's go back to the video one more time and we gonna close out. Run full war real war and we will be conquered by another nation these people are gonna I, i've had multiple dreams these people are going to be going door to door knocking with authority saying come on out and taking us captive where i haven't seen that for but i'm just I'm, I'm 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 making this video because it's hurting me i feel like i'm always talking about this stuff and no one cares and i know this is something for me to pray about but I just, I had to make a real video warning about this because it's coming, y'all. She telling you it's coming, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about the Lord is constantly pouring out his spirit on all flesh once again. So now let's go here to, uh, let's go here to Joel. Let's go here to Joel. Let's get to the meat of the uh, lesson. Let's go here to Joel chapter 2 
Joel chapter 2 and verse 20, I think it's 28, we'll find it. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27 or 28. One moment. So we're seeing in that video that the lady is constantly warning, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is constantly showing her dreams, you know? When you go to Job chapter 33, you probably get that in, in, in a minute. The Lord will seal your instruction while you are in a what? A deep sleep. So the Lord is constantly a, a warning left and right. You know, the Lord have compassion upon his people. Who is that? The true believers of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, what? His elect. So when that start up at Joel chapter 2, and verse 3, say, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see vision so that's what's happening right now as ladies seeing all these different things just like the bible said you know prophesying to what to say before you know and one thing about it is that you know the lord can use anyone to put forth uh, this truth, but the, what the who he's really dealing with is it what his is the what the hundred and forty four the prophets and also the true believer that great multitude and also he can deal with these heathens also you know so one thing about it is that you know the Lord is nothing it's nothing too hard for the Lord to do so you you won't have any excuse in the end I didn't know this I didn't know that you know what I'm saying because the Lord is constantly pouring out His Spirit on all flesh people are prophesying left and right about the what the destruction of what a Babylon the Great America about a great economic collapse about the MOTB you know about Jacob's trouble a time of trouble that we have never seen before verse 29 said and and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Uh, verse 30 said, And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. So right here, you know, the blood moon, you know what I'm saying, the super moon. We've been seeing them left and right. The sky had been red. Also, it is that said this uh, fire and pillars of smoke, talking about this volcanic uh, activity all throughout the earth. You know, all these volcanic constantly erupting especially the one over in what in ireland you know it's constantly everything is constantly what picking up these uh plagues are not slacking down for a moment they're coming upon us on every side just like what matthew chapter 24 things are lining up and one thing about it the lord word is faithful and true it will not return to him void. so that's what we constantly see in all sorts uh, 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 different vibrations of the earth. The, 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 the world is changing as we know it. You know what I'm saying? This transition of power. Esau is the end of this earth age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So the Lord is showing all sorts of uh, great signs and, and fearful sights. You know what I'm saying? All in the sky, everywhere. The Lord is constantly speaking to you. The Lord is visiting the earth that he created. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Verse uh, 31 said, the sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood, said before the great and terrible day of the Lord. So the Lord is constantly gathering the nation. You know, when you go to Ezekiel chapter 38 for the constant verse of Zion, so the Lord is going to show up in the midst of World War Three, a day of gloominess, a day of darkness, a thick darkness. So the Lord is getting ready to show up. We constantly warn you left and right. And that great fathership from the east to the west with great glory and great power. That's what we constantly warn you left and right. What if some don't believe? We really don't give a damn because one thing about it, the Lord word will not return to him void. We almost at that sad mesh. The day of doom is almost fast approach and we are constantly warning you left and right. Verse 32 said, and it shall come to pass, said that whosoever shall come, Salaki, let's read it once again. Let's read it right. Joel chapter 2 and verse 32, he said, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered from the Mount of Zion in Jerusalem and shall be delivered, shall be deliverance as the Lord has said. And in the remnant, which in fact is the elect, whom the Lord shall call. Yahweh, Baashim, Yahweh, Shah. And one thing about it, you know, whosoever shall call upon his name, which in fact are the saints, the true believers, the house of David, constantly saying what? Yahweh, Baashim, Yahweh, Shah. We're asking the Lord, how long? This is not our rest. We already know that these Russian and these China troops in collaboration with these sleeper cell. Also, NATO is getting ready to come in and tear this place to pieces. And also, these Venezuela uh, gangs, they're constantly getting ready to get it popping. So, civil unrest, civil war, all these things are constantly happening. The warning cry has went out. That's why the Lord said, keep not silent. Warn them for me. So, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 12. And we'll close out here. Ezekiel chapter 12. And we'll start up at verse 2. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 2. It says here, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see 
and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not. For they are a rebellious house to this day. Wicked Negro, wicked Latino, wicked Native Indian. You know, they don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear that. This is not going to happen. That ain't going to happen. You are crazy. But we're getting ready to find out very soon. They have eyes to see. You know what I'm saying? They have ears to hear. But one thing about it, you know, they don't have what? In the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Everything that, that's going on right now is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh. That's why the Lord said that just shall what? Live by faith. You know what I'm saying? Say what? Walk in the spirit each and every day through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Walk in the spirit. And one thing about it, the Lord shall what? Direct your step each and every day. But these two thirds, they constantly what? Leaning on their own understanding and they headed for what? Destruction. Uh, let's go here. Ezekiel chapter 20. I mean, Ezekiel chapter 12. And we'll start back up. Let's start back up at verse 24. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 24 said, For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Let's read it in the NLT. It said that there will be no more false vision and flattering prediction in Israel. So right now, these prophecies right now said, you know, in that day they shall know that a prophet was among them. These prophecies are coming to pass left and right. The Bible is a true book. And one thing about it, when you go to Proverbs chapter 1, I think around verse 27 or 28, he said, in that day, they, uh, they, they shall seek me early and they shall not find me. Because one thing about it, that you're not believing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have faith. You don't have works. And one thing about it, you are going to be totally destroyed. So it will be no more vain, uh, no more, uh, no no more uh, flattering and uh, divination in the house of uh, Israel because these prophets right now at the end they shall speak and not lie. They're not tearing anymore. They're not prolonging anymore. They're coming left and right. These are these birth pains. And one thing about what is getting ready to come, uh, getting ready to be birth. That is what the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. We are constantly warning you left and right is right in your face. And also the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 25 says, For I am the Lord. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass and it shall uh, be no more prolonged for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the words and will perform it, says the Lord power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So hey, it's plain and simple. The Lord's getting ready to perform his enterprise and you get ready to know perfectly what time that we're living in very soon. The Lord's getting ready to reveal all things. Verse 25 said, for I am the Lord, if in the NLT said, for I am the Lord. So if I say it will happen, there will be no more delays. You, re you uh, rebels, your, you, these two thirds of Israel, I will fulfill my threats of destruction. So in your own lifetime, I, the servant Lord, have spoken. And one thing about the almighty, Yahweh, so the Lord's getting ready to do it, man. We constantly want the Lord is getting ready what to make it good, plain upon table. Verse twenty six. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, me saying, verse twenty seven. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he sees is for many days to come, and he pro prophesies uh, the time that are far off. So in that uh, dream. Uh, I mean, in that uh, video, the lady was telling her family, you know, said, no, we don't believe this. I don't believe that. You know, we think that you're lying. We think that you're crazy, you know. But one thing about it, you know, it that's not going to be any more delayed. You know, they're going, we all going to see all together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get ready to see, you know what I'm saying? Behold, I come quickly. The Lord's getting ready to show up, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to show up like a thief in the night while you're not watching, while you're not unaware, while you're not believing. This is not going to happen. That ain't going to happen, but it's constantly happening right before I, man, the Lord's doing a mighty work. Let's read in NLT, verse 27 says, Son of man, the people of Israel are saying, uh, he's talking about the distant future. Say his visions won't, uh, the prophecy won't come true for a long, long time, but you are in for a rude awakening. We see it right now that any given day, you know what I'm saying, all hell could break loose when they say peace and safety, you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden. That's why you got to always be watching. You got to always be praying, redeeming the time wise, because we're living in the end time, real time. We're constantly warning, but you are constantly what? Playing game. This is not going, that ain't going to happen. But hey, we're not worried about you, because the Lord's constantly ruling it out right before your eyes. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 28 said, therefore, say unto them, 
Uh, thus said the Lord Power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord Power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Let's read in NLT. It said, Therefore tell them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, said, No more delays. I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the servant Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, have spoken it. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, the Lord's getting ready to perform it. You know what I'm saying? He's getting ready to make it very perfectly clear. So right now we're seeing that we're in the birth pain. We're seeing that right now the vibration is changing. We're seeing that we're coming upon an evil time that we have never seen before. And one thing about it, we're seeing that, you know, the wise are constantly uh, doing more what? Wiser and the wicked are constantly doing more wickedly. When you go to Daniel chapter 12 and uh, verse uh Daniel chapter 12 verse 10 You know what I'm saying One thing about it Wisdom and knowledge Shall be the stability of the time We're seeing that we're here You're seeing that uh, These two does get more Wickeder and wickeder You know They hate the good And love evil You know what I'm saying Right You know before I you know, They constantly You know what I'm saying They have a lack of knowledge A lack of knowledge You know And seeing right now These prophets are playing out Right before I And the Lord is getting ready To perform it His word is faithful and true You know what I'm saying What is some don't believe the Lord said, I really don't give a damn. The Lord don't really care if you believe or not. He's only coming back for that one third rim, the house of David. Salvation is only for Israel. You know what I'm saying? And we come to the one you left, right? Many Bible scriptures tell you that. The Lord don't love everyone. The Lord cannot, it's coming, not coming back to save everyone. You know what I'm saying? You know, he love everyone. Everyone can be saved. That's a total lie. And one thing about it, these scriptures are constantly what? Lining up just like clockwork. So, we see that we're here. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash. I like to say Shalom, Shalom.